Okay, let's be honest here. Was this hall close to inducting three LSU linemen tonight? Well, maybe not, but there's a football story to be told about this rodeo hero. It seems at Belmont Academy in Opelousas, Steve Duhon in 1980 remarkably rushed for more than 3,300 yards and had 148 tackles. Colleges suddenly got interested, including a late on the scene LSU coaching staff. Duhon showed up at LSU, and as someone who had been wrestling steers since he was a kid, football was a piece of cake. But after a freshman year in football, in which he played every game in 1981, his love for leaving the chute and taking down steers was too strong. So anyone that rodeoed at that time can tell you how great a cowboy that Steve Duhon was. Steve was not just a bulldogger, he won three world championships the steer wrestling, but he could rope, he could, he could steer rope, he could team rope, he was in the timed event championship, and anybody could tell you about how great he is at, at being a cowboy. But also, Steve was one of the most gifted athletes that I'd ever been around. Steve was a great athlete, he was a world-class athlete. He could have wore a, a Super Bowl championship ring just as easy as he wears the three uh, world rodeo buckles that he has. I think the quality that makes Steve the great athlete that he's always been is his competitive nature. As long as I've known Steve, um, he enjoys competition and he plays to win. I've seen Steve in foot races, in rodeo events, I've seen him play football, and no matter what he's doing, he wants to win. I've seen him in horseshoe matches, I've seen him bowl, and he approaches all those things with the same intensity. He likes competition and he likes to win. He turned professional and began to win and win and win some more. It qualified him for the famed National Finals Rodeo eight times, and he captured the World Championship in 1986, 1987, and 1993. Along the way to his 1986 title, he established an NFR world record run of 3.0 seconds. That mark stood for 15 years. I tell people that Steve has ice water in his veins. Uh, the, the more the pressure, the better he likes it. Uh, he made most of his fame and fortune in the Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association as a steer wrestler. But I can assure you, there are a lot of people in other events, for example, the calf roping and the team roping, who are glad that he didn't home in on that e those events because he was just as tough and just as skilled and, and just as athletic in those events as well. Steve Duhon was one of the greatest steer wrestlers of all time. He had all the great qualities of a great champion. Speed, athleticism, ability, agility, horsemanship. He was a great friendly rival. I think we pushed each other to be better. What a great testament to you and your family, Steve. Congratulations, proud to be your friend. What a well-deserved honor. There's something about tackling football players and wrestling steers that seems to have a lot of similarity. But there's no question why tonight the Hall of Fame inducts its second world champion cowboy. He knew what he enjoyed doing, and he put in the work to make himself a superstar. He's already in the Pro Rodeo and the National Cowboy Hall of Fame. And now it's our turn to say welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, Louisiana Sports Hall of Famer, Steve Duhon.